Hi, this is Michael Lepage, and today on our video tutorial, we're going to talk about how to use activity codes appropriately in Primavera. Activity codes are a wonderful feature in Primavera version 6, and I find sometimes people do not fully understand how they can be used to help you organize your project, look at your project's activities in different ways. So today we're going to look at this project I have here on screen, uh, Project Acme Twin Office Buildings. You'll notice that I don't have any activities shown on screen, but I do have my project's work breakdown structure. And I want you to notice the work breakdown structure of this project, that uh, I've got a section for Building A, and Building A has got a subsection of Foundation A and Electrical A. Then I've got another major section, Building B, with Foundation B and Electrical B. What's interesting about this is, in construction and engineering type projects, we usually, or we often, come into projects where we're building a structure, uh, or more than one structure that is similar in a project, and I have both of those structures on the same project plan also want you to notice that these uh, green and yellow bars here are giving me summary information about all of the work going on in each section. So for example, I can see that it takes 28 days to do all of the foundation work for Building A, whereas Building B is a little bit shorter, it takes 22 days. Overall, Building A is 54 days in duration, Building B is 44 days. What if I wanted to look at all of the foundation work together and get a summary for that foundation work across both buildings or the electrical work for that matter. That's where we are going to use activity codes to create uh, and reorganize our project so that we can see all of the foundation work together and all the electrical work together. First thing I'm going to do here is expand so these items so that you can see all of the activities and I'm simply going to go do do that by going to my layout options bar and expanding. So now you can see that I have similar activities for both building A and building B. I'm now going to go and create some activity codes that we're going to assign to all of these activities. To create the activity codes, I'm going to go to the enterprise menu and go down to activity codes. Now, you can see here I'm going to create project activity codes and I actually already have one created. This activity code is called Phase, and Phase is broken out by two categories. I have a foundation phase for each project and an electrical phase. So for all of the foundation activities, I'm going to assign this activity code of foundation, and for all the electrical activities in the project, I'll assign it a value of electrical. Next step, though, is to create another activity code for the buildings. So let's do that. I'm going to click the Modify button click the Add button. We'll call this Activity Code Building. Great. Close out of this screen and now I've got the Building Activity Code and I can create the two values for that code. The first value is Building A. And the second one is Building B. Great. I've got two activity codes created now, one for phase and one for building, and I close out of here. The next step in this process is to add some columns to my view. And I'm going to make a bit of room here, a little bit more. And I'm going to add in two columns, one for each of those activity codes we just created. So use my little column chooser button. I'm going to go to activity codes, project. There's the building code we just created and the phase code we just created. And notice where they are in the list. I'm going to move them down to the bottom. Excellent. Great. Click OK on that. You can see I've got two new columns here on the right. I think I'll make just a little bit more room so we can see that. Great. Two activity codes created. Now I'm going to assign those activity codes to these activities. First thing I'm going to do is pick all of the, highlight all of the 
building a activities for both foundation and electrical and I used shift then I'm gonna go over here to the right this is the activity code button I'm gonna choose project and I'll see the two different activity codes phase and building first thing I'll do is assign a building code of A great you'll see A's propagate here in this column I'll go and do the same thing for all of the activities in building B now great now the next thing is to assign the, the phase codes so for the foundation activities I'll start with these ones actually I'm going to show you by using control I can actually highlight across project and these are all foundation activities here's a little trick actually I can leave this window open just buy me a little bit of room here okay so now now I will highlight all of the electrical activities and assign them all a value of electrical by double clicking great so now if you look in these two columns on the right you can see that I have uh, all of the building and all the phase codes assigned appropriately. The next step is to actually use these group and sort bars, these yellow and green bars, so that I can reorganize the project taking into account these activity codes. I'll go up here to this green icon. This is my group and sort configuration button. And you can see right now I'm grouping and sorting by WBS. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change that. I'm going to first group by phase. So there's the word phase. Great. Turn off this indentation. I want to do a subgroup as well. So first by phase, but then I want to sort by building. So I'll scroll down this list until I find the word building. Great. And of course, these two uh, items represent the activity codes that we have created. I'm going to go ahead and click OK and we'll see the finished product. There it is. Now my project is reorganized first by foundation, then by building. The advantage that this gives me is now I can see the total duration for all of the building, uh, all of the foundation work across both buildings. I can see that the total duration is actually 28 days, and I can see that the total electrical work is 32 days. This is just one example of how to use activity codes, and I encourage you to go and play with activity codes and use them in your projects if you're not. Do a little bit of exploring. I'm Michael Lepage. Thanks for checking this out, and come back soon for another video tutorial.